So today's video is going to cover how to set up Webman Mod on your modded PS3. If you don't have a modded PS3, check out my other videos which covers how to mod any PS3 with just a USB stick and an internet connection. Now one of the first things you're going to do is upgrade your internal hard drive if you got a PS3 Slim or a PS3 Fat. If you got a PS3 Super Slim, then you're out of luck because you only got onboard memory. But I will show you how to use a network drive later on in the video. So when you're shopping around for hard drives, check out the link in the description because anything over one terabyte, you're going to have compatibility issues. Anything over two terabytes just isn't going to work. So once you've got everything rescrewed in and installed, you're going to want to reinstall the software onto the hard drive, which the PS3 is going to demand for right off the bat. So you're going to want to have the exact same firmware when you install the custom firmware when you modded your PS3 or whatever firmware it was before you installed this new hard drive. As soon as you turn it on, it's going to ask you to plug your controller in to the PS3 via USB cord and have your USB stick plugged into the port that's closest to your Blu-ray drive. Then press start and select and this will tell your PS3 to look to the USB stick for the update file. Now your update file has got to be in a folder called PS3, all in capital letters, and then another folder in there called update, all in capital letters. Then you're going to want to have the PS3 update file dot pub in there. So if you're a little bit confused on how to do this, check out my other videos and I'll show you how to set up your USB stick to install an update file on your PS3. So again, this will take about 15 to 20 minutes to install. You're also going to download all your apps that you want to use, mainly Webman Mod and all its plugins, RetroArch and Multiman. You can find these all in the links in the description or on the Brewology website. So again, this is a fresh install, so you're gonna to have to set up a new user and set the date and time and reconnect to the internet. Once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to have all your package files on the root of your USB. So again, if you're confused on how to set up a USB, check out my other videos. So the very first thing we're going to do is go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, and go to Standard. If you press Triangle, you can install multiple files in one batch, all files. So this may take a few minutes depending on how many apps that you have, but once it's complete, you could also choose to install the Rebug Toolbox, which is on the PS3 hard drive. You could also install Multiman or finish the installation by opening it up. But go to Webman Mod, hold down L, and then X. Your PS3 is going to restart, and now we could jump back to our computer and we're going to download an FTP client called FileZilla. And if you want, we're also going to set up a network drive using the F or PS3 net server. So we're going to jump to the interwebs and we're going to look for FileZilla. Type that into Google and download the free app. Then we're going to go to the Webman Mod GIP or GitHub page and we're going to download the PS3 net server on their latest release. We've got links all in the description too. So. Once that completes, we're going to install FileZilla, which is a free program, but it's got adware included in its installer, so just watch out if you don't want to install any adware. So we're going to wait for this to launch, and we'll minimize this for later. Then I've already got a drive installed where I've got all my ROMs already sorted so I've got a ROMs folder for all my 
emulated ROMs like Super Nintendo, Game Boy, etc. And then I've got folders for PSP, PS2, PSX, ISOs. And then I've got a folder called Games for PS3 games that are in folder format and not ISO for format. And then I also got another folder called Games which can hold either ISOs or folder format games. So to launch PS3 net server, just extract it to the drive that you want to have it on your network. Add the exception and have it navigate to the drive that you want. Make sure you take note of the IP address at the very top. Have this program running at all times or at least whenever you want it to be connected to your PS3. Then go back to your PS3 and make sure it's connected to the same network that the drive is on. You're also going to want to make sure that it's on a LAN network. I'm doing Wi-Fi just to show you it is possible, but it does error out. I re recommend using a LAN connection. Even yet, LAN connections are still a little bit buggy. So once you're connected, you want to go to a webman and then webman setup and then under scan for content, you're going to see scan for LAN games. Make sure it's checkmarked and type in the IP address that the PS3 net server gave you. Make sure you save at the very bottom. And then for me, sometimes I got to click a couple options on the left and then I'm able to refresh under setup. Again, if you got a Wi-Fi connection, this always errors out for me. On a LAN connection, only half the time it errors out on for me. So again, it didn't work 100%, so I'm gonna tell it to refresh my games and refresh my game list. Now it froze on me, so I have to restart my PS3, but, it did end up showing some of the games. I don't know why I went to the web browser. You don't need to do that. But you can see, it didn't show any of the ROMs. It showed all the PS3 titles. So that's good enough at least. So we're going to reboot our PS3 and then once it's done we're going to hold select and webman mod is going to prompt us for the screen which is going to show us our IP address of our PS3. We're then going to jump to our computer and we're going to open up FileZilla and we're going to use it to connect to our PS3 to transfer over ROMs. Type in the IP address under hosts and then click connect. Then you're going to be able to navigate on the right or left hand column on your computer and then your right hand column is your PS3. So navigate to where you have your ROMs and drag and drop it to the correct folder under HDDO. So for all your PS3, PS2, PSP and PSX ISOs it's fairly simple. For your ROMs I've made it convenient and I've uploaded a file which I've linked in the description that has all the folder structure that you need for the individual consoles. For box art, what you need to do is have the same file name for your image as the same for the ROM. So if it's Super Mario, make sure both image and ROM are named Super Mario. So with FileZilla, all what you got to do is drag and drop and it'll just keep adding to the transfer queue. You can pause, start, stop, and it'll keep track of everything. If it gets interrupted, just overwrite the file that it was because it's most likely got corrupted. So I'm transferring over 455 gigs at once right now and it took pretty much overnight. But 
as you can see, it mostly works. Now, I think for the most part, there's too many files for Game Boy Advance for it to recognize all the, the image files. But for the most part, it works. And that's pretty much all you need to mod your PS3 to get it running ROMs. So again, I've got a link in the description for the folder structure you need to get all the ROMs to show up. So just copy that into the ROMs folder on your PS3 hard drive or on your USB stick. Make sure your USB stick is formatted to FAT32 or if you have an NTFS, make sure you have PREP NTFS installed under Webman as well. So hope this works for you. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.